Another day, another crazy North Korea update. This time, Japan, they're looking to change their law to, so they can preemptively strike North Korea before they launch missiles. Uh, their constitution says that they can only act in self-defense. After World War II, they're looking to change that. Japanese lawmakers are calling for new laws to allow Tokyo to launch preemptive strikes against an increasingly aggressive Kim, Kim Jong-un, or the te- a.k.a. the tubby tyrant. He has angered the entire region with recent missile tests. He seeks to develop nuclear weapons. And Hiroshima Imazazu, the head of Japan's ruling party, told the Washington Post, Japan can't just wait until it's destroyed. It's legally possible for Japan to strike any enemy, any enemy base that's launching a missile at us, but we don't have the equipment or capability. Discussions surrounding the law change are supported by uh, Shinzo Abe and Defense Minister. I believe that we should be consider having the capacity to strike like I said, Japan's current constitution in the wake of the Second World War is illegal for the country to launch an attack only in self-defense. A group of influential politicians are lobbying for law change that would allow them to t- take the front foot against North Korea. And last week, here I got other articles here. Yeah, just last week, Japan, they had their first ever drills, school kids and nationwide, um, war- you know, basically early warning if a, if a missile gets shot again, then they can evacuate and go to bomb shelters. That happened. This just happened, I think, yesterday. North Korea conducts another missile engine test. So they think that this is to do with an ICBM or, you know, so they can put nukes on it and they can go, like, intercontinental. And they think that he's going to do a nuke test next month because that's his great granddaughter, um, you know, Kim Il-sung, the original Kim, the first leader. It's his birthday, April 15th, because they've been detecting all kinds of nuclear activity. Uh, North Korea could be in the final stages of nuclear test preparations. And this comes from uh, yeah, Yonhap, too, right from Korea. It likely to conduct tests next month, probably on his birthday. They're known to do it, like, you know, on the day of the revolution, the leader's birthday, his dad's birthday. They do stuff like that as, like, birthday presents because they're nuts. Anyways, um, and then this happened recently, too. Oh, this, this is the newer more, uh, nuke test satellite showing, like, activity around there. He... Uh, made a propaganda video where they blow up a U.S. aircraft carrier and stuff, too. I know these guys, a lot of these guys are hype and, you know, a bunch of rhetoric and stuff, too. we got to understand, too, like, they're surrounding them now. They got the THAAD missile defense. They got armed drones. They got the nuclear bombers all ready to go there. So it's just a matter of time, I think, until he, he feels cornered, like, you know, a cornered rat, and he's desperate, and he thinks he's gonna, they're going to do to him what they did to Saddam Hussein or something. So then he might, you know, just go off in a blaze of glory. That's the only scary thing that's unpredictable. People in Korea or Japan or in that area, you know, if you, one last, uh, you know, desperate attempt to, like, make a name for himself, he'd go out and, like, you know, shoot a bomb somewhere because he knows his days are numbered. They're going to overthrow his regime or they're going to attack him. You know, he's crazy. He's absolutely nuts. It's unpredictable. That's the scary thing. I don't think he really has the uh, potential to accurately strike the United States yet, but it's more, more a threat to, like, South Korea and Japan. Anyways, I thought I'd keep you guys updated with this. This is just one more front in the crazy wars and rumors of wars. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. God bless. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.